this book so much. Hi, my name is Shauna McDonald. One of the best uh, things I think, like, well, the best venues for Canadian novels in the past few years, anyway, has been on CBC Radio. I worked on CBC Radio for many years as promo girl, and um, one of the wonderful benefits of that was that I. Um, listened to CBC a lot and got to know the programming and and uh, one show that really stood out apart from Between the Covers which showcases Canadian novels um, was a program called um, Canada Reads and it's a, a debate that's set up between five celebrity celebrities in Canada um, be it writers, musicians, you name it. They take their five novels, they pick, each 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 one of them has a, a novel that they think Canada should read, and they debate. They read from the novel, they talk about the novel, they, um, you know, enlist the public to read all of the novels and give their feedback, and at the end of it, they come down to one novel that all of Canada should read. Actually, there's one here, and it says Canada Reads on it, and I would never have read this book otherwise. So, that's a, a great venue to, to find new Canadian books that are really worthwhile. It's easier to find American books because we're bombarded with American stuff. I'm an actor. We're bombarded with American films. Are you able to watch a Canadian film? Yes. You might have to do a little more work. And I don't know. I think it's, I think it's very important to do that. I think it's important to um, fuel our industry, our, our cultural industry, because it's something that is only sustainable by us reading our, our own. If you don't, if we don't read our own books, if we're not buying our own books, we're going to lose these writers. A writer can write and not make any money. Great. How long are they going to be able to do that? What are we telling our children if we don't read our own